right, so this is a Sunday morning, so we're getting up, getting out of the tent, and uh, we're going to go down here and fish for a few minutes again, off of the dock. So it's just a little after 7, you know, the sun just come up. Right the sun isn't up yet, it's, it's just gotten daylight. Let's get it, baby. Alright, so we're getting the camcorder and the fishing stuff together here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to walk down here in the, on the dock and fish a few minutes again. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Oh yeah, I could hear raccoons last night. I could hear them a little bit. They were uh, working their way from down there towards the dock, down along through here, down there along the lake, and then uh, on down. I thought I heard them too. Yeah. They haven't been raccoons. Yeah, that's what it was. Every once in a while you could hear them moving around a little bit, and every once in a while you can hear them do that little chattering sound that they make. I did hear that. Yeah. Yep, so they were going down along there feeding. They weren't in real life. This is really nice. This, this place belongs to one of our friends here at the, in the ISRT group, the Independent Sasquatch Researchers Group. So we're new members. And uh, one of the members, him and his wife, him and his wife on the, this here. Look at that fog, it's nice out there. And you see where the sun's going to be coming up. Right there. Huh? We get the camcorder set up here. I charged it up some last night up there by the brother house. Set him arms up here in his chair. And let's do that. <clears throat> Set him on there, and then you can we can yeah. use that to wipe our hands, but that'll keep it from getting a little dirty. They were telling us that one of the neighbors came over here a few weeks ago and caught a nice big bass right here off of their dock.
nice bluegill out here last night, right before dark. The water's really calm right now. It's a good spot, baby. Huh? You might catch a big one right now. Well, I didn't mean to do that on purpose. I was going to throw it out. Well, you never know. Well, I'm going to throw it out. Okay. You can hear the crows out there. Oh, all right. a little bit of view here. It's a little foggy this morning. A lot foggy. Well, the lake is in. See the sun coming up up there. Push this up so you can see the sun coming up up there. Starting to be able to see a little bit of the sun now. It'll take it a while to burn this fog now. Yeah. <coughs> Another nice little boog in. Another nice little blue again. Alright, so we're going to throw him back. These are some pretty little fish. <coughs> hey, look, I'm going to throw him right there. These are some pretty little fish.
Well, again, we're just using our our smaller saltwater rod and reels that we normally use. So that's got 10 pound. This has got 10 pound braid on it. And then I got our. Uh, this is a fluorocarbon leader. So all I do is put a small bobber on it. And then I got a number eight J hook. So I got a number eight J hook here. With no weight, so we're putting a worm on it and uh, just letting the weight of the worm sink in. Okay, I had things in memory card in it. Want to go there and get some coffee? Careful, careful, baby. I'm gonna film what's going up. Well, go. Ready? All right. So we're done fishing for now. We left our uh, fishing poles and stuff out there on the dock, so we may um, come back and fish a little bit more. We got just a little bit of bait left. set up. We'll be packing up everything here shortly. That's a dog. This dog? Dog, yeah. Yeah, that's a dog. Not tired? No, no. What's the difference? It's too up? big. Yeah. It's too big, but a coyote is um, more oval shaped. Oval, yeah. yeah. Skinnier and longer. Yeah. I did a lot of hunting, so I'm always looking for tracks. I can't believe you saw that turkey track. Uh huh. Right? It's wider apart, yeah. That's a. That looks like a buck, a big buck, big deer. Because mm -hmm. when they, they'll spread out like that. Yeah. And these are the dew claws. Right on the back of it. Because uh -huh. a lot of times the big bucks, when they're running, especially when they're running, when they hit like that, the dew claws will go into. Right. There's more deer tracks. Dog? Yeah, yeah, that's a dog, yeah. I have a 
his uh, bear. I don't know what he was looking for, but he had pushed himself up on my car on the on the hood. Yeah. So I have this perfect perfect friend, bear friend. <laughs> oh, that's that the deer. Running. Yeah, that one was definitely running. Yeah. More. Yeah. But I walk out in the morning on the. Um, or Sunday evening to put the garbage can up front. Uh -huh. We got a bear proof, you know, straps. Uh -huh. And um, we, our driveway is dirt, so I always look for the traps. Uh -huh. Especially after it rains. Look at this. It was looking too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. That's a big deer. Sure. That might be a panther. You're right. That yeah. might be a panther. They normally have claw marks. The panthers, yeah, the too. dogs will leave the claw marks, so the panthers don't. Wow. That's crazy. And that's right there. That would have, that would have shown it. Yeah, it would have shown it right that here. That would have shown it right yeah. here. Because that's deep and it went down. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. There's no reason why. Yeah, so that might be panther. Panther, dude. I got a panther back there. Now, that's a dog. That's a dog. You see the claw marks? Yeah, the claw marks. Yeah, that's right, yeah. You can't really define it. Yeah, you see the deer. This is the deer here. You see the dew. The dew claws is going that way. Now, judging that, you think that's a pretty big buck? Yeah, yeah. And what would he have came out at? Right through here. That little that little trail right there. Did they ever walk that? Yeah. Look at that there. Pine cone tips all over the place. Yeah, there is. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Right it's here. just right here. It's right here by this tree. What do you think that is? Did you show me to? Look at that. Yeah, why is it just here? And I mean, a, it's obviously where the squirrel is getting the, the, the pine cones. Yeah, but the pine there. cones are still there. I'm breaking. More squirrels. Probably squirrels there. Yeah. yeah, but why are they not touching these? No, these are broke. These these look. Are they broke? Yeah, yeah, look at it. They snapped them, and then you can see where they pulled oh, yeah, the skin right. off. You did, yeah, it did. It snapped it and pulled mm -hmm. the skin off. And peeled it, yeah. 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 It's just right here under this tree. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. When you look at it, it looks like it's cut with some type of, like a knife or something, but it's not. It's mm -hmm. a thing, you know. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's only right here in this one spot under this tree. Yeah, unless a hunter had went and cut some from somewhere else and just threw it on here to go into the woods. And it looks like it's a pie. It's part of the tree, but it's like got a defect. Yeah, I don't see another tree laying on it to make it, you know, to no, do that. No, that's no. weird. And it's leaning because you know it's heavy. Like grass. Doesn't even look like it's part of it. Like a cluster or something. And it looks like it's a pie. It's part of the tree, but it's like got a defect. I don't see another tree laying on it. This is hawk coming over this and rubbing it, isn't it? Or what? Is there deer rubbing on it? Probably deer crossing over it. I don't think there's that many hogs over in here. Damn. I haven't seen any hog tracks at all. It's just weird how it's on top.
There's something using this hole. There's something using that hole right there. You can see where it's been going up and down in it. Gopher hole. Yeah, gopher, gopher, hole. gopher hole, yeah. Yeah, it's like something I want you to walk on this path. Mm hmm. Definitely cut. I wonder what that means. Probably nothing. Huh? Oh, that's a little circle over there. That is weird. Something's been laying in there. See that? Wow. Pretty unique. It is. Kind of makes you wonder if the spot's climbed up or a bear or something. And this doesn't even look like this was long ago fell down. It's falling. Very unnatural. Very, very, very. This spot is all in this area, dude. The anomaly road. It's my, my name's right now. Hang on, door. A lot of dead standing trees around as well. That almost looks like black hair there, but it looks like what I was finding before that was like a vine. Armadillo? Yeah, Armadillo did this.
gonna poke like two deer. Two deers here. And then here. One is older than the other. Yeah, bro. There's a deer right there. It could be the toe rub yeah, or something. That's deer there and right here. Yeah. So that's like probably a deer, yeah. Like it rubbed it or it was going forward or something. Yeah, probably did, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like, because sometimes I'll do that to check yeah, the ground. Yeah, so it looks like it was done this morning. Yeah, I actually took a tracking class a couple years back. Uh-huh. It was actually for tracking humans. Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. Hold on, you got some moss on you there. Okay, I got it. Yeah, that would be real interesting. And uh, there's actually hey, they're, they're supposed stuff? to come and give us the advanced class. Mm -hmm. That's spider web though, isn't it? Oh, we looked here and it looks black. Look, oh, yeah, dude, that's, that's that hair, isn't it? No, it's look, that. that thing's wet all the way No, that's that that's that vine I've been seeing and I found. I found um. I had one one hunter commented on my. YouTube that it was a black vine moss, but I haven't been able to find any kind of Google moss. thing. No, and no. I posted it. But that's some kind of vine or some kind of moss. Yeah. Nobody could tell me what kind of bird it was. Yeah. Yeah, it was a real black like basket. Yeah, birds will use anything available. Wow. Amazing what they can do. Yeah, this is a spotter web here. Yeah, I've only found it in the oak trees also. Really? Yeah. Look at it, dude. And it's not the regular moss that grows, that what they call Spanish moss. It's not the, it's not the same kind of moss. It's different. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, because you can see it all back in here. So there was, you know. Yeah. You've only found it in oak. Only in oak trees, yeah. <laughs> that looked like another one of those guys. Look. Look. Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. Something snapped like that, yeah. Hill. Yeah. And then uh -huh. it over. Like almost the same way because look, the other branches were the same way. It was yeah. like sharp over here, like bigger. And mm -hmm. It was the opposite from what it would have been like if you see it. It does, yeah. Like, mm. Oh wow. That's where yeah. Look at that. We just come out of that area. Nothing but down trees across the trail. A whole lot of animal sign. Yeah. Even some anomalies. Yeah. And that's out there.
Yeah, we'll we'll make it real easy. And when we get home, we can take it all out, right? Yep. I'll help you because I don't yep. really need stuff in there. Yeah, so we're gonna get packed up here, and uh, we're gonna make this easy. We're gonna roll this stuff up into the tarp and get it fastened down in the truck, and then we can open it up at home later and air everything out good and let everything dry and then re refold it up and pack it away. Alright, so we're gonna be getting packed up here. It's a target pack, this one. I think that's what it was. It couldn't be cheap. No. Don't worry about that. Oh, that's what it is? We can do that at home. We just. Oh. <coughs> Take that off. Take this off for me. Okay. Take the chair. Okay. Nope. It's got sand all over. She said to check because uh, she got a couple ticks off of her. Oh. Check for ticks. You want these in here? The empties, yeah. And, uh, yeah. We don't leave in the garbage behind. I... No, I'm not I'm saying that to you. I'm saying that on the camera one now. Oh. I'm not saying that to you. getting in trouble for talking on camera. Okay. Said I'm getting in trouble for talking on camera. Uh. I wasn't talking to you. I was just letting people know we don't leave no garbage. Okay, can you just unzip that real quick and put this in the purple bag? Mm -hmm. I think a tick was on me. Is that a tick? Where is it? On the rug right there. No. Oh, okay. It's mosquito. That's a mosquito? That was a mosquito. See how big it was? Yeah, well, that's why I thought it was a tick. That was a mosquito. I think it jumped off you on the beach. Yeah. Oh, we're not putting this, leaving this in Not here. that, no, no. You oh. don't want to leave your bag in here, no. Where that garbage? Oh, okay. Here, this goes in your bag, right? Okay, give me that. Let me stick them in here. And then we got garbage here. We need to put in there. That goes in there. And that only goes in there. And uh, you'll do something for me here? Yeah. Put these in the back seat. We'll need them when we get home. Sorry, that doesn't pull on.
you pull that side over. Quick and easy. Yeah. And then uh, during the week we can get it all out and open it up and let it sit out in the sun and dry. And wash it. Whatever needs to be washed. So you need another water. I'm going to take the wolf over again. Yeah. That new thing. Really? You already took it? Yeah, I took it. Mm. I just had a touch the notes down. I see that. Okay, let me take the oil off. Mm -hmm. Okay. I always like to check the wall after a long drive like that. I usually top it off and then we'll go home. Top it off. I used a little on the way here. Okay, I'm going to small to it. Okay. So that one right there would be good. I just like to top it off for these long drives like this. We got a two hour drive back home.
Madison hike. I got a lot of it on video, and then Willie also videoed a lot. Okay. Seen a, a lot of interesting stuff that didn't look natural. Okay. Seen a tree cross. Okay. We went up this one trail, coming back out, and there was all kinds of trees down and in the road, and some of them rotted, some of them not. And when we got back out to the end of the road, to the end of that trail, Willie got out there in the middle of the trail and looked up, and there's a cross over there. Really? Two trees out there in the middle of the trail. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we could see all kinds of stuff up in there. Didn't he went up in one spot. Willie did and videotaped. He said there was, uh, I think he said he seen an X up in there. Yeah. And he got to looking around. And something had um, laid the palmettos down and been laying on them. And then something had also pulled palmettos out and had them laying in a circle. He said he's got it all on video. Wow. Yeah, one part where he went around. Me and Jay found panther tracks. I was showing them a lot of the, oh. the turkey tracks and explaining them to them. Right. Yeah, okay. I was explaining to them the different deer tracks and which ones were bucks and does. And me and Jay found uh, there was there was dog tracks out there too from people hunting. Oh, yeah. But we found a couple of really good panther tracks. It was that that big room. Pretty big panther. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're leaving now, headed home. So I want to record a little bit here. We got a pretty good drive through the woods here. Sure it is.